Hi, my name is Anna Patrice. I'm a teacher with Ukrainian Volunteer Teachers. I'm also 2022 Ms. Elite Maryland. Maryland is one of the states in the United States. And I would like to read to you today. I love this story. Rosella and the Star. Do you see Rosella sitting in the basket? She's using it like a boat, I guess. Okay. Rosella and the Star by Rose Celeros. That must be one of Rosella's friends. Cute little mouse. Rosella was a tiny little girl who stood no taller than a blade of grass. She was so small, she could easily fit inside a walnut shell. One spring morning, Rosella's parents gathered berries for breakfast while she slept soundly in her walnut cradle by the side of the river. Suddenly, a big rainstorm came and swept Rosella right off the riverbank and into the water. Down the stream, she floated, bobbing gently along. But Rosella didn't wake until the storm was over. She found herself in a large still pond. Okay, that looks like it's gonna be something fun to read. Just as Rosella was beginning to feel lonely and sad, a lovely green frog, all speckled with black polka dots, leapt to Rosella's side and croaked, hello, hello, would you like a ride? Rosella climbed up on the frog's back. They hopped over logs. They hopped over tall grass. They hopped over bobbing daisies. Rosella's tiny toes were tickled each time they skimmed the daisy petals. She giggled. Look, you can see her toes touching the daisy petals. But then, kerplunk! The frog jumped into the pond. Gurgle, gurgle, said Rosella, as they plunged under the water lilies. Oops, said the frog. I thought you could play under the water the way I do. A friendly fish swam by and helped give Rosella a quick ride back up to the pond's surface. There's the fish. See, the fish came and helped her when she fell in the water. Burr, shivered Rosella. I'm wet and cold and very hungry. Don't worry, said Frog. He hopped with his new little friend to Mouse's cottage. Mouse wrapped Rosella in a soft shawl and warmed her by the fire. The cottage was just the right size for Rosella. She felt right at home after a lovely dinner. Mouse gave Rosella her favorite dessert, strawberry pie and hot chocolate. There's Rosella with Mrs. Mouse. Yeah, it looks like she's got a cup of hot chocolate. Yum. The next day, Rosella made even more new friends. There was a snail, a hedgehog, cricket, and ladybug, and a whole family of butterflies. Rosella and her friends played hide and seek in the daisies. Afterwards, Mrs. Butterfly painted beautiful red dots on Rosella's dress so she could be as pretty as a butterfly too. Do you see the butterfly painting little red dots on Rosella's dress? Because they have different dots on their wings. Yeah, that's so cool. Rosella loved her new friends in no time. They built her a cozy little house in the hollow tree trunk. Sparrow attached a swing to the highest tree branch so she could soar through the sky all by herself. I like to swing on swings. Wee! she exclaimed, flying back and forth above her friends. See Rosella on the swing? and all of her friends down below. She seems very happy.
But at night, Rosella could not sleep. She felt lonely in her treehouse. At home, Rosella always had a nightlight glowing by her bed. She wasn't used to the darkness of light, of night. One night, unable to sleep, Rosella asked the wise owl, I'd be so happy if I had a night light. Do you suppose I might have a star of my own? Al shook his head. Who, who? No one can have a star. Rosella felt even sadder. There's the owl up by the moon, and Rosella's looking at all the stars in the sky. She was so sleepy and so sad. Tears began to fall from her eyes. Rosella's forest friends were awakened by her crying. Please don't cry, Rosella, they begged. What's wrong? She rubbed her eyes and tried to stop the tears so she could explain, but she couldn't stop crying. Everyone tried to stop her tears. Mouse brought her a cup of hot chocolate. Ladybug brought her the biggest, sweetest strawberry she could find. Frog jumped and leapt and hopped on their lily pad. The rest of her forest friends played lovely music, but Rosella could not stop crying. See, Rosella? She's very sad right now. She drank down a cup of hot chocolate and finally drag, dried her tears. I wish I could have that star, she explained. I'm so lonely at night and it's so dark. Rosella stretched her arms towards the brightest twinkling light in the sky. Magically, the light Rosella pointed to drew nearer and nearer like a shooting star. The star's bright. She likes that star. Soon the light landed right at her feet. Are you a star? Rosella asked. Did you come to be my nightlight? I'm no star, Rosella, said the firefly. But I'd be honored to be your nightlight. Look at him, cute little firefly. Oh, please, Rosella smiled. She wiped away her tears and gave Mr. Firefly a hug. That would be very nice. That night, Rosella's treehouse glowed softly. Firefly sat reading on her bedside table as Rosella fell asleep. She dreamt happy dreams all night long until the morning sun woke her for another wonderful day with her forest friends. She's sleeping and she's so peaceful and Firefly is giving her her night light. Wasn't that a sweet story? I hope you enjoyed it. Rosella and the star. Thank you. Bye-bye.